At this place in history, we're in Burlington, the UVM College of Medicine with Executive Director of the Vermont Historical Society, Steve Perkins, of course. What are we doing here, Steve? So Amanda, we are rapidly coming up on Veterans Day here in the United States, called Remembrance Day in Canada and other parts of the British Empire. We used to call it our Armistice Day, and it was really meant to remember the end of World War I, which ended on November 11th, 1918. It's the centennial mm -hmm. year this year. There was a very famous poem that was written during World War one by a Canadian doctor named Dr. John McRae called In Flanders Fields. And I think many of us remember that poem being read at every Veterans Day remembrance that we have. Um, but most people don't know that he actually worked here in Burlington at the UVM Medical School. So we're going to go inside. We're going to talk to uh, Kate Bright, who is assistant to the director here at the Dana Medical Library, to tell us more about John McRae and his very famous poem. So John McRae was a physician. He was a soldier. He was a poet and he practiced all three of those things his entire life. He was born in Canada in 1872, and he, his life spanned the turn of the 20th century. Went to school at the University of Toronto, did very well at school, and he went right into being a physician. He was also a soldier at the same time, so those two things intermingled. He practiced medicine at various hospitals in Canada. He taught at McGill, and at the same time, he also became a visiting professor at UVM. So he did all of those things at once, um, spanning like 10 to 15 years of his um, adult life. What he is known for is his poem that he wrote during World War I. He actually died in 1918 during the war, so mm -hmm. his poem was kind of his, his culmination, and he had a pretty prolific life. The reason he wrote it, he wrote it r directly after um, one of his comrades, um, he saw blown to bits. Basically, it was something that really um, affected him deeply. He needed an outlet for that experience, and that's what this poem did for him. He wrote it and then it was immediately published. People were very deeply affected by this poem. It spoke to what the soldiers were going through. It represented um, what the people at home were going through. So it almost like it was the right poem at the right moment to help people get through this hard time. And then after the war, it became this even larger symbol for all the wars subsequently, very iconic representation that has gone down in history. In Flanders fields the poppies blow, between the crosses row on row, that mark our place and in the sky, the lark still bravely singing fly, scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead, short days ago we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe, to you from failing hands we throw, the torch be yours to hold it high. If ye break with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders fields.